So Jeffrey Marsh, ladies and gentlemen, that very interesting and captivating character we've all learned so much about over the last few months for all the wrong reasons, because whenever anybody does speak about him, it's because of this concerning ideology he likes to push, not only onto adults, but onto children as well. We've all seen the infamous TikToks of him sat there telling boys and girls not to worry about anything because your genders don't actually exist. Male and female? What's that? Never heard of that one before. I actually struggle to believe any progressive person agrees with the stuff that Jeffrey Marsh says. And if you do, which you're entitled to do so, by the way, but I just ask you, do you actually know what you're advocating for? Because inherently you're telling boys and girls their genders are no longer a thing. And that to me is quite concerning. But hey, maybe I'm the one in the wrong, right? Maybe I'm the one that's not progressive enough. Maybe I just am that dinosaur that needs to be extinct. Who knows, but there just seems to be this massive fascination with confusing children and young adults about everything they thought they knew, especially their gender and sexuality, which is very strange to me. But how do you do that? What's one of the easiest ways to do that? TV shows, films, animations, cartoons. As we go forward into the future, every new cartoon that releases, every new film, every new animation includes somebody from a different community to further push a narrative, and some may say, plant an idea into a child's mind that might not have been there if the narrative wasn't being pushed. And it's no surprise to me Jeffrey Marsh advocates for that sort of thing. Somehow, some way, this man just appears on my timeline. I, I don't know what I can do to stop it, but he's always there. And this video I came across, I don't know how old it is, I think it's about a couple of months, but it doesn't really matter. He sat down for three minutes in this video and told parents that their children need to see LGBTQ plus characters on their screen. I'm not exaggerating my words, those are his words. They need to see those characters. Now I must warn you, this clip is pretty long, so I highly encourage you to sit back, relax, and take it all in, and I'll see you in a bit. Don't get too scared. So there are two reasons why kids, youths, young adults, need to see LGBTQ characters and LGBTQ culture in media, on TV, in their own families, they need to see it. It's necessary to say, to say. We're not talking about age inappropriate things. We're not talking about talking to kids about some of the deeper stuff that adults talk about in relationships. So often, people like me, activists, we are fighting the TERFs, the bigots, the folks on the far right, we're fighting them so much that we're just trying to convince everybody it's okay. It should be celebrated. It should happen all the time because it's a good thing for two reasons. Number one, we exist. If part of a parent's job is to prep young people for the real world, well, we're part of the real world. And learning to interact with people like us, learning to be comfortable around people like us, learning to see people like us as full, equal human beings is just good, honest preparation for what someone will encounter in the world. Number two, what I need is for you to understand that LGBTQ people are a metaphor. Even if a young person never turns out to be LGBTQ. Even if they grow up and they're cis or they're straight, they're not LGBTQ. The metaphor of us is inclusion. Every kid needs to see it's okay to be yourself. It's okay to be fully yourself. It's okay to celebrate others. It's okay to include others, right? It started as the gays. Then it went to LGBT. Then it went to LGBTQ. Then it went to LGBTQIA++. <laughs> we're the ones that keep adding letters because we're the ones that keep including people. And that message is valuable for young people and adults to see. So this is the issue we find ourselves in, ladies and gentlemen, right now, which by the way, I hope you enjoyed that video, but this is the issue we find ourselves in. As a man, as a future father, which I tell you now, I can't wait to be one. One of my goals in life is to be a great dad. The role model I never had, right? But it concerns me as we move further into the future, more and more people are concerned with telling me and you how to raise our children. I'll raise my kids how I want to. I'm paying for them. My future wife is paying for them. She could be watching right now, <laughs> who knows? But collectively, we're spending our time, effort, money on raising said children. 
I don't want or need activists like Jeffrey Marsh telling me how to raise my children in the name of inclusion because this is what it's all about, right? But inclusion is really just about exclusion because if somebody has a different opinion to you, you then exclude them and cast them to the side. So the average person will just stand for what you're saying because they don't like to be cast aside. And that's how we get into the situation we're in today, when people just stand for absolutely everything, which means they stand for nothing. And this seems to be an issue I'm facing in my real world as well. When people watch my videos and I talk about this certain stuff, they always say to me, well, does that mean you don't like X, Y, Z? Are you not about inclusion? I don't think you should be saying that. That is a bit offensive. So what they're really saying is, if you don't stop saying what you're saying, I can't associate with you, which then further backs up my point of exclusion, right? I don't hate anybody for anything. I don't care what people do. I honestly don't. You want to sleep with someone of the same sex, do what you want to do. But what concerns me as a 25 year old man, I'm being force fed all of this woke ideology and I can handle it, right? I think we all can handle it to an extent. I know how to navigate myself. It's like being in that Mr. Robot scene, you know, where he's looking around him and everything's just a myth. We can all handle it though, right? But my kids are now being told they have to be force fed this. People are telling me I have to force feed my kids this. They won't be able to handle that. But that's what people want. And people like Jeffrey Marsh and companies like Disney prove that's what they want. Because as we go further in time, Disney includes certain things that people don't like. Jeffrey Marsh is telling parents who may watch his videos, they need to see these characters. And, and people can say, oh, it's just Jeffrey Marsh. It doesn't have that much of an influence. But have we not learned anything over the last few years that if one person makes a, a complaint, millions of companies will just listen to them because they're scared of being cancelled. He says people invalidate their existence. We don't believe they exist. Shh, they don't ex No one's doing that. We all know you exist. So don't push that false narrative either because it's everywhere, right? So that doesn't really make sense either. And you heard him say himself as well. At one point, they included one thing. Then it was the next thing, then it was the next thing, and then it was the next thing, and the next thing. And that's where people have an issue, because you, if, if you give people one thing, they then push for so much more. You push for so much that a certain gender, male and female, then themselves feel excluded, because they look around and they see stuff they don't agree with, but then they're forced to agree with it, and then they, because if they don't, they get excluded. Inclusion, right? No, it's not. I know in today's world, it's not really cool for me to say these things. And it's been a bit unfiltered today. You know, I've just been speaking off the dome, etc, etc, because I feel quite passionate about this. But somebody needs to speak up, right? It'd be much cooler for me to sit at home, binge watch Netflix, drink alcohol at the weekend and not really care about the future. But unfortunately, I just do. And from what I can see and what you can see as well, this isn't any common ground being shared right now. Only one side of the field is being covered. And that side of the field that's being covered doesn't want anybody else included. They say inclusion, that they're lying. It's about exclusion because unless you agree with it, unless you allow your kids to watch things that have certain characters in, medal, it will say bigger on it. Who knows, maybe like I said earlier, I'm the one in the wrong kit. Maybe I am the dinosaur that needs to be extinct. Let me know in the comments below. If you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure to leave a like rating if you're new. Hit that big red subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. But until next time, it has been your boy JD. Please, for me, make sure to always, always have a great day and stay safe. Stay off TikTok. Otherwise, you'll see people like Jeffrey Marsh. I'm out. Peace. See you next time.